Welcome back to Stock Labs. Another market recap. We are three weeks into January, three weeks into 2024, and it's been an okay year so far. Um, this past week, markets did okay, at least on the sort of surface. Qs were up 2.8%. Uh, this is on the back of a plus three point something percent the week before. S&P up. 1.2% almost. Uh, both of these hit record highs this week. So after a long drought, uh, almost, I think, two years, back to all-time highs on the market. The Dow up seven-tenths, not too bad. And IWM didn't do anything this week, down four-tenths. So the Russell hasn't really come along uh, for the ride so far this year. Crude oil up 1%. Bonds were down 2.5%, so bonds have not started the year that well, but hasn't really mattered to markets. Uh, it's kind of just been ignored. I think the market has kind of just, you know, been set in expecting the Fed has done hiking rates, you know, any backup in rates, whether it's on the short end or the long term, long end will be short lived and everything is going back to zero uh, eventually. So bond mar or stock market is done with following along on the TLT moves. I mean, unless this really fell out of bed and started pressing like 5% again on the 10 year, I don't think you're going to see any type of reaction from stocks with respect to the bond market. Um, it's just, you know, we've kind of decided that it doesn't matter anymore. Um, gold down 1%. So not a great, week for for gold but overall not bad at least for the the larger stuff oh um let's go to mega caps again very strong uh at the top of the cap size spectrum nvidia up nine percent for the week pushing 600 a share apple up three percent i mean there's a lot of noise now Apple Vision, you know, maybe it's, you know, maybe people didn't give it the respect kind of that it deserved when it was announced, but I think orders for that have started coming in. Google up two and a half percent, solid week. Microsoft, same thing, two and a half. Meta, almost two and a half. Amazon, only up four tenths. So um, Amazon's had a good run of late, up to 155 again. And Tesla continues its, you know, a little bit of woes down 3% for the week. You know, this stock has kind of not been in favor for 2024 so far. Not sure what the exact reason is, but EVs have, as a, as a whole have kind of suffered. And Tesla is obviously the EV company. So um, yeah, down 3% for the week. If we look at, um, industries for this past week, negative across the board. So basic materials down 3%, healthcare down 3.5% even. It's always a loser, you know, aside for like a few weeks we had um, the end of 2023. Utilities even were down 3%. So utilities have kind of strengthened a little bit over the past maybe couple months, but, you know, they didn't have a good week this week. This seems more related to the bond yield move than um than the rest of the market so tech down one percent for the week so you know kind of divergent from the nasdaq you know the nasdaq is basically seven stocks now and doesn't really speak to the broader technology kind of sector but Median tech stock was down 1%. Rest were kind of flattish to down. Services flat, industrials flat, financials down six tenths, not horrible. Uh, consumer down 1.3, you know, slightly weaker, but it's whatever. Um, if we look at subsectors, we didn't have a lot of overall strength. Um, only a couple sectors were even up, or one sector was up 5%, semiconductors, and we got a handful of other semiconductor sectors kind of just below that. So semis were, semis have been really strong. I mentioned NVIDIA was up like 9% for the week. So kind of the AI theme is still, you know, as strong as it, as strong as it's been for the last 
six months, eight months, whatever it's been. Um, and if we look at downside, we got a handful of sectors down 5% led by, again, EVs. Uh, okay, we got EVs, we got EV charging, kind of the same thing. We've got precious metal stuff, they got hit hard. Um, I mentioned gold was down 1%, but the gold and silver stocks got smoked down 7, 8, 9%. And uh, we've got some of these other spec things, alt energy or whatever, uh, biotech gene editing. Chinese stocks have been on like just one of the worst runs you've seen in recent memory. I think they're, I mean, the Chinese stock market is just, you might as well market zero at this point. Maybe that's a bottom signal, whatever. I mean, no one really cares about Chinese stocks. Um, and yeah, that's it for that. If we look at breadth, by market cap, we've got one to five billion stocks down seven tenths, kind of a little bit worse than the Russell actually. Five to 10 billion flat, 10 to 50 billion down six tenths, 50 to 100 billion up six tenths, and 100 billion cap plus stocks were up half percent. So you can see again, I think this is the second week in a row that we basically had negative breadth in the market with the exception of 50 billion and up stocks, they hung in and did pretty well. So, you know, you can see that the market is not exactly risk on where it's like everything is getting bought, but it's risk on in the fact that people are allocating money to the larger stocks and just uh, kind of leaving the small stuff behind and you know, that's kind of how it goes. Um, if we look at the intelligence for the coming week, okay, there's not a lot on here. Uh, I've got Facebook, or wait, this is, yeah, this is Facebook bullish. This is a levered Facebook uh, ETF or ETF, yeah, ETF. Um, one and a half times meta is long, uh, one and a half times long meta. So that's bullish, bullish Facebook this week. Gold miners bullish this week. So, you know, Stock Lab's kind of looking for a bounce in the miners after they got whacked the preceding week. Crude oil bullish. So, crude was, I forget, was crude up? Crude was, uh, crude was up 1% for the week. So, Stock Lab's maybe looking for some continuation in the crude trade uh, for the coming week. Um, got the inverse of this. VIX bearish and VIX has been bearish. I think going back to the start of 2023, kind of, you know, almost basically more than a solid year of just VIX downtrend is, uh, Looking to persist this week. Um, we've got Coin. This is uh, Coinbase is bearish this week. So I think this stock is way off the highs. Maybe it had like a little bit of a bounce on Friday or something. But I think this stock hit hit 200 on uh, um, around the time or leading up to the Bitcoin ETF approval. And from there, it's just gone straight down. I think it's down around like 130, 140, somewhere like that. So stock less bearish on this this week. Cannabis bearish as always. Another cannabis. Uh, Natty Gas bearish this week. And Dow Jones Internet Bear is bearish. So bullish Dow Internet stocks. And cloud computing is bearish. So maybe some softness in the SaaS space as well. So <clears throat> for this week, I think you're going to see more of a choppy week than anything. Market did hit all time highs. So it would, I was kind of looking for the market to be a little soft this past week, but I mean, aside from the Russell, it really wasn't the, you know, NASDAQ and S and P did well kind of from, you know, from start to finish, there wasn't really any worries there. Um, but, you know, for me, it's just, I don't know. I think you're just going to see some softness or chop this week. I don't think anyone is breaking down the doors to get long at all time highs after a two year kind of just slop fest. Um, so, you know, or maybe it just 
maybe that's the quote unquote breakout signal and it's just off to the races for the rest of the year. But I, I don't think really that the start of 2024 kind of weakness is done sort of, I don't know, is done with, with the market yet. So for me, I would just be like a little bit cautious this week. I mean, market's not overbought or anything egregious. I think probably you're still safe to play like the normal, the normal bull trend names, big tech stuff or whatever, which should be fine. Um, but you know, I don't think you need to get crazy and start like taking on a bunch of risk with like small stuff thinking that, you know, there's a new bull run kicking off. So that's just me, but you know, it could be what, could be whatever who knows um so yeah hope you guys have a good week out there and uh we'll talk to you next week on and see how everything went so bye